Leo, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7G Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so anytime we feel like so disappointed that we just like feel like we were taken out of the game almost, we just want to shut down and not continuously move forward, chances are whatever you put focus into was coming from a place of needing to meet someone's approval or receive validation of some kind, um, almost to like prove yourself. And so then whenever we do something from that underlying tone, it, we end up just efforting. We end up doing it the way we don't actually want to do it. And we end up expecting something in return or expecting a particular answer um, or a particular situation to go the way we think it's going to go. Um, and whenever we have expectations on something, it really, it, it feels painful. So this is your affirmation. Situations don't hurt, expectations do. It's really just expectations, right? Um, and expectations and, and so forth um, just lead to a time of suffering. Instead of just being in the flow and trusting where you're being guided. Um, and right now, in order to get yourself back, because here we see in your recent past, we have the five of pentacles and we have the nine of wands. So really just, you know, conquering those psychological wounds from your past and really just overcoming the, you know, the final stages before you reach the next chapter. And so you're going to go through these five of pentacle moments, but the five of pentacles brings the message of almost like feeling, you could be feeling low vibe because, you know, you want to make more money and you just can't seem to figure out how, or you want to have better health. And it just seems like a constant struggle to lose that weight and keep it off. And the thing is, beautiful soul, is that it's generally because, again, we do something with an expectation as opposed to just listening to your soul and being honestly in the flow of whatever it is that you love. So staying true to what you love. So how this looks is this, right? It's like, and life is going to take you through experiences for you to understand what you love more and what you love most. And that's why we always say, reflect on your past, but not from a place of like reflecting into the dark, reflect into the light. What is it that you felt, whatever journey you're on, if it's, if it's health or if it's relationships or if it's money, when reflect into the back of your life, in the back of it, reflect into your past and really start to um, remember when did you feel your best? When did you, did you feel like you liked who you were with the version of yourself that you were showing up as? What were you doing in your life in those moments? Because that's kind of, this is what you want to bring back in. For me, it's always been waking up and exercising every single time. Every time. It will never fail me. Probably won't fail you either, Leo, because being a Leo, you have a lot of energy. If you wake up and you train, it's the last thing we want to do. It's the greatest thing that soothes our soul, right? And the thing is that it allows us to disconnect from energy cords. And when we have energy cords from traumas, people, whatever thoughts we can't seem to let go of, that hold us back from being able to sing our own song, we're going to want to find a way to let that go. And generally it's something that is of greater purpose or that gets us out of our thoughts and into our body. So that's why exercise is kind of always that sure bet. And it doesn't even need to be a much, it could just be 15 minutes uh, of you um, moving your body. Really that's it. So this was our recent past, right? And now we're here over in the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords. And the problem is, is that whenever we go through these, you know, these, these, moments where we feel like we have to keep pushing, but we just, we don't know how we're going to keep pushing. We don't understand how is the money going to come. It's, we're not seeing the fruits of our labor. We're just feeling really uh, defensive. We're feeling uh, really not quite so, um, uh, we're not connected to our soul, right? We're not connected to our heart. We're not connected to the energy of the universe. So we're more connected to ego, which is that five of swords. And that knight of cups in reverse indicates that there may be some feeling of missed opportunity. And and, and it's almost like, you know, missed opportunity with love, missed opportunity with career. Either way, it just feels like a missed opportunity for matters of the heart with that cups energy there. So the emotional state is feeling a little bit low. And then the ego is pretty active and defensive. And the thing, beautiful soul, we want you to remember is that this is the time now where the only thing that matters is to get back into that high frequency, right? Is to get back into your true frequency. That's the only thing that matters is to get back to you 
calibrating to your higher self. And that means that when we experience adversity and contrast, the only things you have to do are the practices that you've established in your past that have helped you to feel better from in the now. So again, it's going to always have something to do with movement, being outside, um, art of some kind, talking to yourself, but something that, that, you know, you know what that is for you. It's a DIY. We're all unique in that way. Um, but whatever it is that you feel really drawn to that relaxes you, that calms you, that's always going to be it. And if you really don't know, just go for a walk outside. It's the sure bet way either way, but understand that right now you're building this kind of this, 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 this experience, but this knowledge database of what you want and where you want your life to go. And right now it's feeling like amongst this, um, energy of uncertainty, right? Even though it feels like things are not flowing the way that you want them to. And even though it feels like it's not progressing, it absolutely is with that eight of pentacles, you're becoming the master. And so with that two of swords in reverse, you might be feeling indecisive, you know, about what you want to put your energy into and about where's the money going to come and, and, and all that stuff. But right now you are just establishing and learning what you want. And the best thing you can do for yourself right now, Leo, the best, best, best thing is forget about doing things for others. Forget about expectations. Forget about what the rest of the world, literally forget about everybody and recalibrate to yourself. And you do that by staying loyal to the things that you love, by doing what you know, you love that you do that makes you feel good. That's it. So what I know I love is waking up and exercising. What I know I love is, um, you know, having an espresso. What I know I love is, you know, um, sharing good energy between me and my husband, you know, uh, little things that are so important, you know, because you gotta, if you focus on what you love, then what happens is that becomes created in your awareness. Just try it. Just try it. Just try it for like three days in, in a row, right? Is that all I'm going to focus on is the things that I love or um, what I'm grateful for, right? A state of appreciation and love. Just give it a try for three days. I promise you. Sometimes we sound crazy here, but give it a try and you'll see the difference. You'll feel the difference and the validation of you channeling your focus and your energy into appreciation and love is going to show up. And then you're going to see the proof of it and you're going to see how things are different, right? Every single thing, there's a silver lining in every single moment. We want you to find that silver lining. So stay in that appreciation of love and, and, um, gratitude, and you will notice that difference. The angel message coming forward for you is assertiveness. So this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for you to have strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words, feeling, being assertive and standing up for yourself. Um, as long as the energy transfer is, you know, as long as you don't walk into a situation and feel like you need to be assertive and prove yourself and say, and, and fire back. Because whatever energy you bring is going to be the energy you receive back, you know? So it's like, if you show up with an ego, you're just going to get an ego reaction back, right? If you show up from a soul's perspective of like, Hey, like, you know, I was kind of going over this and it just doesn't really feel good to me. Cause you know, and, and generally when you show up with a soul, the other soul will respond, right? Soul to soul, but never do anything to jeopardize your frequency, right? Sometimes the best thing that we can do is, you know, let somebody else win. Like, you know, honestly, at the, at the end of the day, sometimes it's the best thing we can do is let somebody else think that they are right. Right. It's the kindest thing we can do sometimes because you know, in your heart, the truth. And sometimes that is the best way to calibrate to our higher self is to know the truth and not feel like we have to say anything about it. Right. To just know that we are the ones that know, and that's enough because you have a relationship with yourself. That used to not be enough for me. I used to want to have to prove myself and explain why I know what I know. And I just came off as a know-it-all because I was over speaking. I was over talking and it just wasn't reciprocated. The person that is the most respected is the one that says the most, the least amount of words with the most, uh, powerful wisdom, right? That's really going to be the one that's most respected. So at the end of the day, when you show up to a situation and you know, you feel like you weren't heard or you feel like you weren't honored or respected in a sense. If you know the truth, that's all that matters, Leo. That, that really is all that matters. You know what I mean? And if you have to release that energy, then you release it by speaking to your angels. You release it by exercising. You release it by talking to your guides and your, and, 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 uh, your higher self. 
You know what I mean? And they will reassure you and they will always let you know your truth. Your, uh, your universe message is see me in their eyes. And the universe says to you, whenever conferring with another, either face to face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit or sentient tree, always speak to the highest within them. See, what were we just talking about that? My goodness. It makes such a difference. Oh, man, the universe. Right? So soul to soul. See their soul. See their perspective. See where they were coming from. It's almost nice to even say that, right? Like, so I see where you're coming from, right? Almost like speak about what they just talked about, right? I see your points. I understand how you feel because you went through this and you went through this and I get it and I totally hear you. Here's my perspective because I did blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? But if you talk about what you see in them first, then they are heard. Everybody just wants to be heard. We know what that feels like. Everybody just wants to be heard. So when you, when you explain or, or talk to somebody, hear them, see them first. Let them know that they are seen, acknowledge their feelings and then speak from your soul. And that's going to be really how the energy gets cleared up anyway. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.